Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad, with its corporate headquarters in Port Clinton, is a privately held railroad company serving businesses in nine eastern Pennsylvania counties. The railroad runs about 400 miles from Reading, Pennsylvania to Mahoopany, Pennsylvania, and it operates the seven-mile rail line from Tawanda to Monroton in Bradford County. They offer freight services and passenger excursion operations and employ hundreds of employees. The company began operations in September of 1983 as a 13-mile short line operating a state-owned branch line between Hamburg and Temple, Pennsylvania. Named the Blue Mountain and Reading, they rehabbed the line and provided service to freight customers and a passenger excursion business was also developed. Durier Yard, formerly Coxton Yard and also sometimes referred to as Pittston Junction or West Pittston Yard, is a railroad yard in the Wyoming Valley region of northeastern Pennsylvania. Durier Yard was established in the early adolescence of railroad history in Pennsylvania by the Lehigh Valley Railroad and operated by that railroad for many decades. Today, it's operated by the Reading and Northern Railroad. The yard lies in the borough of Durier, a bedroom neighborhood of Pittston, itself a secondary community of Wilkes-Barre and Scranton, and as such is part of the Wilkes-Barre-Scranton metropolitan area. Physically, the yard is located on the main branch of the Susquehanna River and in the peninsula formed by the confluence of the Lackawanna. In the yard proper, both northbound main lines are of equal height. Running further northeast, the more northerly track to Mountaintop flies over the more southerly track to Scranton. Both elevations are well below Main Street at the underpass below Coxton Road. Coxton Road leads immediately to some light industry, but then, herded by the Campbell's Ledge, parallels the yard and subsequent northbound main line to Mahoopany. The main Wyoming Valley entrance is through a rail yard wide to the main line, running westbound on both sides of the Susquehanna and eastbound to Mountaintop. Historically, the Y was doubled and connected to a long staging track, but only parts of the doubling remain today. Continuing into the yard from the Y is to cross a bridge that was originally built for four tracks, although today now only contains three tracks. This lead historically contained several crossovers fanning out to various service tracks and buildings within the yard. On the north side, the yard connects to the Lehigh Valley Railroad's northbound main line to Sarah, Pennsylvania. Although the 2017 Reading and Northern System map names Duria Yard as such, in July 2013, a newly hung sign indicated that the Reading and Northern had renamed the Duria Yard as the Muller Yard. Today, some people call it Duria Yard, some people call it Pittston Yard, some call it the Muller Yard as the new sign indicates, but people like me, old school people like me, still call it Coxton Yard. It's 2024 now and how the times have changed. Having recently celebrated their 40th anniversary in railroading, the Reading and Northern operates what just might be one of the most interesting trains in America. The string of cars on the rightmost track will soon be picked up by tonight's North Reading Fast Freight. The Fast Freight, or the NRFF if you're feeling corporately correct, is the hotshot manifest of the railroad. It runs between its namesake city to Pittston, Pennsylvania and returns at least six days a week and all within 12 hours. That pair of EMD locomotives down there are crewed by the YJPI-2, which is the second shift yard crew of the day. The YJPI-2 crew is knuckling on to three stray boxcars which they'll tack on to the end of tonight's inbound train.
the fun begins with the arrival of the NRFF. Today we're in luck as two of the three uniquely painted fast freight locomotives are bringing tonight's manifest into town. Once the fast freight enters the yard, the yard crew will grab it by the tail and pull it forward onto the Scranton branch so that the NRFF power, now detached from its train, can reverse and then run around its outbound cars for the return trip to North Reading, which is technically Tuckerton, Pennsylvania.
Once the fast freight power is firmly attached to its train and all necessary safety checks have been made, the yard crew shoves back into the yard for the breakdown and sorting of the inbound manifest. Now it's 6.30 in the evening and although the southbound fast freight train is all together and ready for departure, the fast freight crew can't leave the yard for almost another hour so we won't be able to see them blasting out of town today. The good news is that we caught them blasting out of town yesterday and with all three fast freight locomotives. We jumped ahead of the train to the Phoenix Street crossing as the southbound NRFF heads back to home base under a glorious plume of EMD engine exhaust made even ever more dramatic by the low golden hour evening backlight. So is the North Reading Fast Freight the most interesting train in America? I guess it's just a matter of opinion and interest.